Good afternoon. Welcome to a Johnny Rock Sports guest afternoon. This is a go live for five o'clock. I kind of missed last night's update. Well, let's be this way. Both Toronto teams won last night. The Maple Leafs won in dramatic fashion. Uh, five four and overtake it's a three one series lead. The Blue Jays won five two last night in their series with the White Sox. First highlight I'm gonna show you is the Maple Leaf game. Enjoy the highlights. Let me know what you found that game last night. Okay, I feel this rage in America. Try and get in with Tavares. At the line, pressure, and Hazel may have a break. And a trip from O'Reilly, or from Riley is going to negate the Leafs' power play. And, and it's going to be a penalty shot. And how about this moment? So the first career penalty shot for Brandon Hagel. Goal and an assist on Saturday. And Santanov with the stop. And the Leafs will stay on the power play with the game still. Scoreless. Hagel just comes right down the middle. A lot of times you see guys moving side to side to get the goaltender to at least move and potentially lose his net. That one there. He'll swing it to Kalorn. And now Kucherov, Hitman there in place of Sirkachev. That shot blocked. Right back to Hitman. Here is Kucherov with that score. Alex Kalorn's on the board. One nothing right there. Contagious for a team that's desperate to get right back into this series. A great block by Hall, but the read here by Kucherov is so deceptive. You think that he's going to pass and he shoots. You think he's going to shoot and there he passes. And for Alex Kalorn, that looks skyward. We said at the top of the show, 29 games in the playoffs since he scored a goal. Well, there's the 30th and there's the game's first goal that puts Tampa on top. Now for Kucherov. Played it inside the line, ran into Tavares, and point to pick up the loose puck. Gets it back to Kucherov. Across, circuit shot, scores! Nikita Kucherov sets up another. It's 2-0 Tampa Bay. Realizing this is going to be icing, and instead of letting it be icing, Vasilevsky goes and plays it. And all of a sudden, it's back the other way. Braden Point takes it down deep into the zone, and Kucherov brings two guys with him, and look at the reaction of Samsonov. There's the threat of Kucherov. Kucherov taking a couple... So, what are you going to do with your day off? I've got a few ideas. Have fun. For everything you love in life, there's the Life Utility Vehicle. Introducing the Kia Carnival. Kia. Movement that inspires. The power to take on virtually any pro project with Benchmark's wide range of hand power and lawn tools. Built to be innovative. and powerful benchmark only at home hardware and building centers and the big first round against Montreal a couple of years ago trying to bump a scoring growth look at O'Reilly steal couldn't get it to the net but on the puck again 
Ryan O'Reilly for Hall. He shot scores. Tipped in front. Nolan Chari with the deflection. And the Leafs are on the board. A little bit. Look at the front of the net. All the traffic. And there's the tip right off the stick of the Chari. You can see Kerfoot did a great job of getting his man into the eyes of Vasilevsky. And then on the back. For Kalorn in the opening period. Chance here, Hedman working in. Hedman off the shoulder of Santorov. Shoots it forward, and it didn't go in. Red line flat, red line flat. But it's waved off, and somehow Samsonov able to come up with it in the blue paint. Rebound, good job of Samsonov. He's got some traffic in front. There's Brody sliding around. He hit the shoulder of Samsonov. And oh, boy, Matthew Nice. nice. He saves the goal here. He's got Sorelli in front. It's just a quick stick at the last second. Keeps that one out. Good positioning by the official as everybody on the doorstep. That thing's rolling in the back of the net. That would have been Sorelli's goal. Instead, Nice keeps it a one goal. That's now 16-14 for Tampa Bay. So 9-4 in the second period in favor of Toronto. Across it comes for Hippen. His shot scores. Deflected in front. And it is 3-1. Steven Stamkos has his first of the series. Of oh, Steven Stamkos. Hedman with like a shot pass. And man, you couldn't have scripted that any better. Deflected down into the lightning zone. Tavares has gone off. A lead feed here. Hagel for Kalorn. Now it's Kalorn scores. Kalorn's got two. And it's 4 1 lightning. In his way in the playoffs. None in 29 coming in, gets one in the first, and how about this shot? Just a wrister through the stick of Giordano. This play, though, is made possible. You've got a tired Leaf team trying to get a change. Marner stayed on to try to take that pass away. Instead, it's Sergachev up on the quick up. And there's the shift for Matthew Nyes. You, you want to stay in the lineup? you got Michael Bunting coming back off the suspension. you got decisions for the coach to make if you lose this game and there's what Kevin was talking about that protection in the corner that was a good play here comes Nylander with a look here it comes across Matthew scores and they get one back it's 4-2 with just over 10 minutes to go one for Matthews Nylander sells shot with the backhand pass Marner to Matthews quick release and up and over Leafs have not looked dangerous in the first minute and the entry again, a bit of an issue here as Tampa's been able to stop them at the line and not allow the easy setup. In here, comes back. Giordano the knee later. In front scores! Austin Matthews! It's a one goal game! Position. You're going to stand up at the line. That exposes the front of the net. Look at all the blue sweaters up top. Cole, the defenseman, doesn't realize that Matthews is coming from behind. So he's up too high. Matthews gets lost behind. And then how about this timing and hand dive? Who has never had a postseason hat trick. The goals come two minutes, 45 seconds apart. Tavares wins the draw. O'Reilly out there along with him. And Marner. It's Morgan Riley. Get it scores! The game is tied! Vasilevsky away, good play by Marner, lifting the stick of Kucherov, sliding to his right, Marner puts it back in, I don't know. Out at center it goes, over the line, Kalorn, the lightning scoring hero tonight, Brody behind the net, clock draining, and for the second consecutive game here in Tampa, these two teams will go to overtime. Nylander just played over 13 minutes in regulation time. He should be fresh. Here comes Kerfoot. Nylander took a high stick. Now he's got the puck. Nice perks in the slot. Giordano sends it. It's in. Tip in front. And the Leafs have won it. Alex Kerfoot, your hero tonight.
who's been up and down offensively all year long, gets himself in good position, good in, right in front of Vasilevsky, and then gets that tap back as Vasilevsky moves to his right. Kerfoot, Giordano with the shot through, Kerfoot with a piece of it, and the power play does a great job of keeping control of the puck, spreading it out and getting the shooting lane, and Giordano with the shot. And right there, Kerfoot underneath the blocker of Vasilevsky to end this game. Second power play goal of the night. First goal of the series for Kerfoot. They did review and clearly not hit with a high stick. Now I'm going to show you baseball hi the Blue Jays highlights. Let me go to the comments below what you thought about Maple Leaf comeback last night. But right now I'm going to show you highlights from the Blue Jays game last night. So stay tuned. Come on, burger boy. Oh, sorry. My bad. Come on, really? You better about this pelota. <laughs> Try the new Ringer Burger at A and W. Baseball burger. And look who's back with a big smile on his face. Former manager of the Blue Jays, Charlie Montoyo, now the bench coach of the White Sox. Sea Bass, a.k.a. Chris Bassett, uh, was drafted by the White Sox as a youngster. Uh, he's pitched to a 2-2-2-2 two, two, um, two and two with 5.4 ERA. Pitch to Robert. Swing and a miss. Nice start to the ball game for Chris Bassett. Ball four, a one-out walk for Benintendi. Benintendi with pretty good speed as Andrew Vaughn steps in. He takes another high pitch. This one a slider. Everything's up so far. And it looks like he just got called for a ball for not stopping. And a curveball to get him swinging, just like he did with a Robert. The two down, and here's Eloy Jimenez, the DH, hitting just 208 on the season. Here's a ground ball to Bo Bichette. And the throw to first in plenty of time to get him. A walk, but nothing further against Bassett. And they'll be facing this guy, the big fella, Lance Lynn. Obviously hasn't started out the way he wanted to. 0-2 with a 7-5-9 is not exactly his his thoughts on a good start to the season. But if anybody can turn it around, Lance can. In recent memory, as Bichette pumps this ball high into the roof to the right-hand side, and Oscar Colas making the catch for the first out. Guerrero to shortstop. Elvis Andrews with some time. Fastball for Lynn. Ring it up, he says. Sosa, 23-year-old from Venezuela. Now he's going to try to get the bunt down. Barehanded by Bassett. And got him at first base. Boy, what a terrific play by Bassett. He's running to it. Barehands it. Sets his feet to get something on the throw, and he needed every bit of it. That two-out walk could mean something here, especially if Benintendi can find a gap. Over second base into right for Benintendi. Robert swings around second and then slows back. So the first hit of the ball game for anybody is Benintendi's single in the third. So first and second two down for Andrew Vaughn, who struck out on a curveball his first time up. 1-1. Line to left center field, and that is down for a hit, rolling all the way to the wall. Andrew Vaughn bashes a ball to center and drives in. Two runs here in inning number three. He absolutely demolishes this ball. Frozen rope to dead center. That is just the third time that Kiermaier has walked this season. 
And here's Bichette. He's going. And it's a high chopper to the right side. Vaughn's got it. And safe at first is Bichette. And as a hitter, when you see that ball go airborne so high, you're sniffing a hit. And you're doing everything you can to get down that 90 feet and beat the first baseman to the bag. The man wasn't getting there in time. It was Vaughn or nobody. Here's Guerrero with two on and one out. There's a swing and a bouncer to the shortstop Elvis Andres, and he'll turn a 6-3 double play. That was a broken bat. Lance Lynn pumped up as he walks off the mound. Now Chapman, who struck out in his first at bat. High in the air center field. Robert Jr. back at the wall. He leaps. Oh, he brought it back. How did he do it? Luis Robert Jr. somehow absolutely thieves one from Chapman. Oh, my Lord. Go ahead and put it on the highlight reel, folks. This is one of the best plays of the year. Kept the glove over the fence just enough to make the grab. Lynn with the walk. Brandon Belt the batter. Lynn deals. Belt smokes a line drive base hit into right field. Station to station for Kirk. We've seen a walk take place, and then the next guy extends things with a hit. Now another tough out in Merrifield, who's 0 for 1. Pitch it hard and fair into the left field corner. Kirk is in to score. Belt will be held at third. It's an RBI double and a 10-game hitting streak for Whit Merrifield. Two in scoring position with two down for Kevin Biggio. It was called out on strikes his first time up. And Biggio lifts one to right field. It's well hit. It's gone! Second of the season for Biggio. As he sends it down the right field line, a three-run shot. And the Blue Jays have a 4-2 to two lead. Repertoire is extremely deep for Chris Bassett. Sinkers, cutters, curves, change, four-seam fastball, sweeper, slider, splitter. 1-1. One, one. Popped up off the fist. Step into the outfield turf. Now Merrifield onto the dirt, makes the play into retire Jimenez. 0-1. Oh, Bounce to the second baseman. This time, played off the dirt by Merrifield, not out of the sky. Two away. Well, it puts a man on with two down. Oscar Colas, the batter now. Right at belt. Easy play. Seventh inning here at Rogers Center. Blue Jays four, White Sox two. As Chris Bassick returns to work. 2-2. Two -two. Brown ball, middle of the diamond. Charging in. Long hop handled by Bichette. Plenty of time. Here's Lenin Sosa, 0 oh, for 2. The third base. Chapman backs up on it, side saddle, makes the throw, and it's past Belt off the sidewall. Sosa gets to second base, and the rare miscue on this infield for the Blue Jays. So here's the tying run, Luis Robert. Bassett facing him for the fourth time. And here comes John Schneider, and here comes Voon Chong, a member of the training staff, and they saw something they didn't like. And watch him. Look into the dugout and call whether it was John Schneider or a member of the training staff. Schneider saw it right away and pass it out of the game. So Zach Pop is into the game. He'll get Robert here at the top of the order, but then the lefty Ben Intendi before getting Vaughn. And there it is. Yes, sir. Look at the movement and look at that swing. So two down, and here's Andrew Ben Intendi. In the air out towards shallow center. Retreating Bichette, backpedaling, wheeling his arm. Now bowled away by Varsho, streaking in. He makes the play to retire the side. So Chapman trying to get something in the air to the outfield to bring home Guerrero. And he'll do it. And he's going to do more than that. Guerrero trucks to the plate. He scores on a ringing RBI double from Matt Chapman. A little insurance here in the seventh inning for Toronto. In front, 5-2. to two. Jordan Romano into the game here in the ninth inning with the Blue Jays leading the White Sox 5-2. to two. This one hit off the end of the bat. Shallow center field. Kermeyer is there. He can go back and up over the fence, but he can come in and slide and make that catch. And that's a big out to start off the inning for Romano, too. Andrews 0 for 3. Now a pop-up for Bichette. Two down. And the number nine hitter, Lenin Sosa, is coming up. He is 0 for 3. Popped up on the right side. Belt at first is underneath it. He makes the catch to finish the ball game. The Blue Jays win the opening game of the series by a score of 5 to 2.
There you have it. I'll be back later on tonight with Game 2 of this three-game set between the Chicago White Sox and the Toronto Blue Jays. The next Maple Leaf game is Thursday, Game 5. They're going to try to close out the, the series with the Tampa Bay Lightning on Thursday night at 7. I'll have that update for you after the game. So stay tuned for that also. This is Johnny Watts reporting for Johnny, for, uh, Johnny Watts Sports Guest Afternoon Recap. Have a good one. Bye for now. See you later on tonight. Bye-bye.